The Rode Wireless Go is hands down one of my favorite microphones to use. I use this for my videos, I use this for client videos. It is so versatile. There are so many things you can do with this microphone. You can clip it on like a standard lapel mic. You can use this as a handheld interviewing mic. You can even use this to boom another microphone, like the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This microphone is great. It's easy to set up. It's very reliable. I've never had any problems with it. But I also have another favorite bit of equipment, and that is this, the Rodecaster Pro. So the question has to be asked, can you use the Rode Wireless Go with the Rodecaster Pro? We're gonna find out. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for another video. If we're just meeting, it's nice to meet you. My name is Connor Wells. I am a photographer, videographer, and podcast producer. So if you're into that sort of content, stick around. I'll be posting videos about those subjects every single week. Now, I've spoken a lot about the Rodecaster Pro on this channel. In fact, it's one of my most popular videos, talking about some features of the Rodecaster Pro that you may not know it could do. But I love the Rode Wireless Go. I've never really made a video talking about that. And I have two of these. They're, they're great microphones. They're very reliable. Like I said in the intro, they're just, they just sound great. I've currently got it plugged into my Canon M50 right now. I've got a few audio presets added to it, but nothing major. But the benefit of using the Rodecaster Pro with something like, we're going to switch to this audio now, a Rode pod mic. It's got so many built-in features and audio processing. It's got compressor, it's got de it's got a noise gate. And one of my favorite features is the big bottom feature, which makes your voice sound really, really bassy and deep and low, which, is, which I love. Switching back to the Rode Wireless Go, you've got to sort of do those sort of things in post to get like a really, really good sound from it. Not to say that the Rode Wireless Go doesn't have a good sound straight out of camera, but I like to do a little bit of audio processing with it. So like I said at the intro, the question has to be asked, can you use these two together? So we're going to find that out today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my Rode Wireless Go from my Canon M50 and I'm going to see, can it work with the Rodecaster Pro? So right now, folks, we are using the audio from the Rodecaster Pro. I've got a Rode Pod mic plugged into it. The audio processing that I've got turned on is the compressor, de high pass filter, the noise gate and the big bottom. I don't really turn on the Aural Exciter. It's never been my, my favorite preset. It's it's very, very tinny and I'm, I've never really been a big fan of that. So that is the, uh, the processing that I've got switched on at the moment. And by no surprise, you can probably tell this sounds really, really good. I, I love the sound you get from this, which is why it's called the Rodecaster Pro because it's professional. It sounds it sounds pro. It's brilliant. Love it. But can you use the wireless go? We're going to find that out. So I've unplugged it from my Canon M50. I've got the cable sort of dangling down here. And what is important is the cable type. So this cable here is a TRS cable. It has two rings. TRS is used for iPhones and Samsungs. That enables you to use like headphones and as the microphone. This is TRS because it, it doesn't require headphones. You can't monitor your audio with this. Although that should be a good feature if they do a Rode wireless go free. That would be really cool. Rode, send me the check. Also, whilst we're talking about Rode, this video isn't sponsored by Rode. They don't get to see this video before it comes out. This is completely neutral in my sort of experiment. So full disclosure there. So we're going to look on the back of the Rodecaster Pro and see if it has any TRS inputs. Now, I already know it does. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be plugging this end of the Rode Wireless Go into the smartphone section, the smartphone channel on the Rodecaster Pro to see if this works. So we're going to plug that in there. It's a little bit tricky because I can't really see what I'm doing. Maybe for a future version, if this works, maybe they could put like a, a hot shoe mount on, on this or something. I don't, I don't know. You never know. But we're, we're just going to leave that there. Now it's plugged in. Um, I've got the Rode Wireless Go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip that onto me right here where it usually sits bring it in nice and close and let's turn this channel up now what i need to look for is a green signal bouncing bars to make sure we, we've got some signal coming from this thing so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to turn down channel one which is where the pod mic is plugged into and i'm going to turn up the smartphone channel which has got the Rode wireless go plugged into it to see if there's a signal if it's working if it's loud enough or if, if it works at all so yeah let's turn down channel one so say goodbye to me as i slowly start to disappear can you hear me? You can't hear me. You can't hear me. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the smartphone channel here I come I can see there is a signal coming in it is a little bit quiet I'm looking it's not quite hitting that 12 decibels which I like to see um, which is a sort of good guide mark to, to good audio level it's not peaking it's not too quiet I'm going to move that over there so as you can hear it is working it's a little bit quiet I've not done any um, additional processing to this other than the fact that it's plugged into here and it's got the processing from that but it's a little bit quiet so what I'm going to do the Rode Wireless Go is currently set to medium so I'm going to put it on to high and yeah that has brought it up a lot lot better that is brilliant I'm also going to go into the channel section and I'm going to put that all the way up to number six as well level number six I'm going to change the presets to speech I'm going to turn off the oral exciter because we don't want that. And now it should sound really, really good. I've, I've done all the processing from it. And as my test concludes, you can use the Rode Wireless Go with the Rodecaster Pro. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the Rode Wireless Go onto the Interview Go stick thing, which is a great little contraption. Like I've said, this microphone is incredibly versatile. So I'm going to attach it to that to see what it sounds like a little bit closer to the mouth. There we go. So that signal should sound a lot, lot stronger now. I just had to turn it down a little bit because I don't want this peaking. But it turns out, yes, you can use the Wireless Go on the Rodecaster Pro. It is a very, very capable device. And the two work very well together. I have listened to this audio back and it does sound great. I'm very, very impressed with the results. What's a shame is you can't plug two into it and unless maybe you had like a splitter cable, or for example, but then that, that might make a little bit more of um, editing time. But that's a good result. I'm pleased to know that you can use the Rode Wireless Go with the Rodecaster Pro. Maybe I'll be using this more in the future. It might save me a bit of time with editing and processing of the audio when I get into like Final Cut Pro or something. So I am thoroughly impressed. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!